Rap FM, it's your boy Tomorrow. We got Riggs in the fucking virtual building. Rochester, New York. I'm Pump Joe. Thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Kind of doing this short notice. So we're happy about it, yo. And I'm excited. You don't, you don't know me too well, but I get mad excited, yo. So I'm pumped about this shit because for a couple of reasons. Um, one, because you're nice. And so it's like people want to hear you. People want to hear about you. People want to hear, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big thing, of, of course. But the second thing, and I hit you up last night. I asked you how old you were or whatever. The, the, to me, I don't think people really understand the the magnitude of this interview because you're 28 and and based on the landscape of hip hop right now, most 28 year olds ain't spitting like you. And and so that's, I want to see where that's coming from. I want to like, it's a distinct difference in what I'm hearing from the 25, the 28, the 30, the 30 crowd. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think I really want to get in that because your music sounds like stuff that I grew up listening to, I'm 42, I'll be 43 next month. So, like, it, 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 it's, it's, it's crazy to me. I, and I told you, I get hype, I get hot. You see me in the whip, I'll be like, ah! You know what I'm saying? This shit is grimy, and I, and I, and I love it. So, um, so I want to get into that, man. I mean, like, I, I'm kind of going to work backwards, actually. Like, what's your, what's your influences, and how, how did you come up? Because the sound I'm hearing from Riggs is not the sound I hear from everybody else your age. Shit, man. I mean, I came up under that good sound, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would honestly say the first influence on my sound that I grabbed, hands on, it was stuck off, was, uh, it was Britain. Nah, it's like that, that was the first project that I seen that I started to get a grasp on concepts. And I mean, just being honest, putting forth what you're going through in your environment, your everyday living. Right. And that's gonna change because it's always been garbage music every year. That that's just always what it's been. Right. That's what I caught first caught a grip on. Right, right, right. So that's what you that's so locally, I mean when you started spitting, like is that what you would would you say Nas? Is that was that what you started you spitting or were you already rocking out before that or Nah, I, I I've been rocking since I was twelve, man. Right, right, right. I started ba- I started battling. Like that was my intro when I was battling. Okay. Battle the battle circuit. So like, what? How is that different from like? Do you fuck with that still or not? Nah, hell no. What? What? You say hell no? Why you say hell no? You, because <laughs> it's clever. I, I love the cleverness of it, but the the emotional aspect is missing of it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can only invoke so many emotions when you're battling. Like being a writer, you can make somebody cry, somebody irritated. You calm them down, you can hype them up, you can do various things. With battling, it's like you just chewing the head off, and then that's it. Right, right. No, I feel you. I mean, I, I'm, personally, I'm not the, the biggest fan. I mean, the way, well, the way it is now, because a lot of it's acapella and stuff like that, you know, and I'm used to kind of coming up with it over over, over a beat. But, um, so, you coming up, what's, what's the deal with Rochester, man? I mean, it's like, it seems like y'all just shitting MCs out of there, like in the whole that whole Western New York area up there is on. It, it always been like that, right. you know what I'm saying? Like we always had spitters here. It's just now is the time where the beacon is on us. You know what I'm saying? As far as this upstate region. Right. So I mean, is it all like how close are you to? I mean, because I don't know. Yo, all I know, the one thing about Rochester is cold. Like. You know what I'm saying? You still rocking heavy winter shit, like man, like for we, <laughs> like for real, nigga. Like I, I, I went out in a t-shirt today, be like, like shit twisted. Like it was just sixty, and now it's like thirty-one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it should be twisted until we well into July, like. So yo, so what's <laughs> it's <a> July? <laughs> yo, I saw. I looked up. I looked up on Wikipedia. So the average temperature in Rochester, even in July, is like only seventy degrees. Yo, I'm like, damn, like. Shit is, shit is crazy. So, yo, but what's the what's the vibe like there? I mean, like, take us there, cause I I I don't plan on coming there. <laughs> so take take us there. Like, what's it? I mean, because yo, you know, I said I, I played you for somebody one time. And they were like, oh, what, what borough he's from? I said he's from Rochester, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like he's been like, you know, I was just like, yo, it's you know, whatever. It's it's 
real life everywhere. So I mean, like, but take us, take us through Rochester, like the the, the vibe, the mood, because I know nothing about it. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I call, I call it. I refer to it hell. That's what we call it. Me and my homies, we call it hell. You know what I'm saying? Not to. Put a light on it to say it's the most negative place in the world. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's impoverished. It's fucked up. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. It's small, though. So, for instance, like, you can have an issue with somebody and then see him at church or Walmart 20 minutes later. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm from the East Side. The West Side is very different. Very different from the East Side. East Side, it breeds hustlers. Whatever the case may be, a few robbers. The West Side, like, I don't know. You familiar with Rob Gacy and my team? You yeah, well, I, I am now. I have been recently, no so way. yeah. No he from the West, you okay. know what I'm saying? It, it breeds different animals, you know what I'm saying? But overall, Rochester is, is, is fucked up. There's some gems here, though. You know what I mean? It's definitely some gems here, but it's yeah. fucked up. Sounds like a lot of places, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing, yo. Everybody, everybody you know... Everybody acts like, or, or people forget, man. It's it's fucked up everywhere. I mean, like, so that's a hood is a hood. You know what I mean, you know, a hood is a hood, and I tell people that all the time, man. I'm like, don't get it fucked up, man. Like, you don't know where you at. Like, you need to maintain, man. You're not sure if you're not sure where you at, or what's going on there. Like, it doesn't matter what you think and where you from, because <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, so yo, how did it start out for you, man? Because you you know like I said you're younger cat but what got you into into the to the rap shit? I mean like I used to write a lot. I you like from like 11 to 12, 13. I used to write a lot of stories. I used to just riff off, imagine shit, write shit. And when I first really discovered music, I'm like, well, no, I'm about to do this, I'm do this instead. I was always writing. That was always my thing. And it's I'm more introverted than anything. Like. On wax, I could be as open as I ever could be, but in person, I'm introverted. So that's my way of expressing myself. Like, I'm not really a social person. I definitely got that vibe from you. I mean, it was weird. I mean, I haven't talked to you, like, too much, but I I could tell, I, I felt like that. Even, you know what I'm saying? It's And that's that's cool, man, because it's like, like, what you're expressing on wax is like, it's... Tales, man. You know what I mean. And, it's, and, I, and I appreciate how you, how you, how you weave it all in. It's, 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 it's detailed. And what it reminds me of, like style wise, whatever, in terms of just not style wise, but just like what it reminds me of is like how Rain Ghost used to tell would tell stories, and they 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 break it down on like the you know the type of goose somebody had on or whatever, or like the you know what I mean. And it's really deep, detailed. Like bring brings the listener in. So that's that's what. That's what I got from from Roach Gutter. So let's talk about that project, man. I mean, what's what's the vibe behind that project? We can even play a little bit of it in, in a second. I mean, that, that shit is crazy. That vibe is that vibe is hell. You know what I'm saying, like, I did that project to basically fit exactly what I was describing earlier, and I, and I made it a certain way. Like, I could have definitely got outside features, other people on it, but it was fully produced by a Rochester producer. It was fully produced by uh, I mean, it was it was produced by a Rochester producer. It only had Rochester features. I'm talking only about Rochester shit. So I just wanted to bring a listener here. Yo, it's it's crazy. I mean, like, what's your what's your favorite joint off the track off the track off the off the joint? Cream, that cream. Uh, I, I like I, I like that one, and the the one that's the one that got me. Super open, man. The one that had me fucking almost crashed the whip was the, um, you know the joint, man. What the fuck is it, man? I gotta find it. I'm gonna kill Poppy. That, <laughs> that, that concept, the concept is so dope, yo. And I, I, you know, I didn't realize there was a video to it. I mean, like I said, we talked earlier, man, there's so many cats out now, man. I mean, people are like, oh, you heard son, you heard son. I'm like, God. You know, like, so I, I, I didn't even know there was a video out, um, if you did the video out for it until, uh, until, until yesterday, I mean, so, um, what's up with the team, man? I mean, like, yo, who, like, big up your team. I, I want to know what's going, like, again, I don't, I don't know too much. And so it, it's, it's, you know I mean? Like, I'm curious. What's up with the, um, 
Who's on your squad? I mean, I've been seeing you with, with the kid, with Mooch, right? His name, right? He's... Yeah, yup. Yeah, Mooch. That's my brother. Nah, man. No question. I see the vibe. I can see y'all, right? <laughs> Yo, vibes, vibes, vibes go through screens and all that shit, man. I, I, I see the love there, man. Like, for real. No question. We got, we got Mooch, of course. We got Maverick, you know what I mean? That's family. We got Rob Gates, Sam Times Change, and Illinois. We, we, we formed this group in like 2012, you know what I'm saying? We all was all independent artists who collectively fuck with each other through somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So at one point, my man Illy was like, yo, we all family through this, that, and the third. We might as well, you know what I mean, form this link and do what we supposed to do. And ever since that, it's been what it was. Right, right. Yo, the, the, the team is... It, everybody that I heard so far, that you know, what I'm saying is the team is hot. Who's who's in the um? Who's the other person spitting with you? I forgot. Forgive me. In the, uh, I'm gonna kill Poppy. That's times change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, right. that's right. That's right. Yo, let's talk about this conversation you had. I, I saw it on I on IG know, a couple months ago, or whatever, and it was like, um. I don't know, yo, it was like, it was deep, because I was like, okay, these are some cats, younger cats talking about some, some really real shit, so, I mean, I'll bring it up for people that know, so you and Mooch were talking about OGs, and that whole concept, and I've done some videos on that, actually, and it was like, you said some stuff that, that stuck out, and even in one of your songs, um, one of the, re I think it's Top of the, top of the World, Top Top of the top of the year, top of the year, yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. you're saying like saying something like about OG oh, just because you're over thirty. So yo, yeah. like, I really want to. What did you mean by by that? And what did you mean by like you know share some of the stuff that you were talking about in, in that in that conversation with Mooch, man? Because it was like it was cool seeing two younger cats. I mean, you guys, you said okay. You, one point you you guys mentioned was like you know stop sharing useless shit with us. <laughs> You know what I mean? Straight up. Straight up. I mean, like, the OG thing, the OG thing is fucked up because for my generation it down, a lot of people don't truly understand the history of OG and what it was meant for, what it was, and what it is today. What I mean by that is this. Our generation, like, after the crack epidemic came, we that shit was destroyed. A real, real OGs was destroyed. Like, when we run around doing whatever we doing to get our income or cause trouble, whatever the case may be, we had no true tutelage, ever. We had nobody to look up to, no male figures who was like, yo, you should move like this. You should view a female like this. You shouldn't spend your money on that. You shouldn't do this. OGs, to us, when we grew up, we grew up seeing fake OGs, which was, he's older than 30. Or he got more money than you. Or he pulling up in this car with this many women. And we idolize that because subconsciously we start to want the shit. And then that title just started going everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's my OG right there. Now nah, he just in a better position. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what it be majority of the time. And that's what we was touching on because it's confused. Like an OG wouldn't really put a gun in your hand. The OG not going to just to you and show you how to move a pack, slip on 12 and get through the cut and all that. But OG is going to show you how to get the fuck out of the game. These dudes now, they show you how to stay in it. And that's that's not OG shit. It's corny. You know what I'm saying? It's corny. Right. You were actually, the word you guys used was being manipulated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's all it is. Because it's like, yo, most of the young dudes that I know and even me at a point in time, we even looked up to the flash of the violence. So if I knew somebody that was catching bodies, he was fed. He was robbing somebody. You wanted to be next to him. You wanted that glow. You wanted people to look at you in that same light. Because we never had any structure to know to look up to something else. They knew that. And then they manipulated. Put a gun in the little homie hand. Tell him get that pack. Walk down the street. Catch this cell. Do that. And recycle continues. Yo, I did a meme on it actually. It was funny, man. I said... You know, because that title was used loosely, right? Every OG, OG, OG. You know, like, sometimes a nigga is just old. <laughs> you that's, know what I mean? That's sometimes that's you're true. just old, you know? Like, it's not like you... You got to you gotta still show and prove, man. And it, like like you said, if you're not putting somebody in a better position, OGs are supposed to instruct. 
And yo, hey, baby, bro, don't don't do it like this. You know what I'm saying? Learn from this mistake. Not like you said. You tell you said, what they got you? You know what I'm saying? Got younger cats out. It's my shooter, right? You know what I mean? It's my I got. I got the. That's that bullshit. That shit, that shit corny to me, man. Train it, train it, like. Oh, this is my young, this is my young wolf right here, right? And yeah, yeah, and it's like, and that's the thing, yo. I, we've talked about it, and that's why I appreciate hearing it from you guys because it's like, how about being responsible and showing these cats, like, you know, what I'm saying what what's what's good, and that's it was interesting. We talked about this one time with uh, I forgot who it was with. My bad, but like as far as all the mumble rapping stuff, the the OGs are also part of the problem, to blame, because, and I said this before, yo, we, we stood around watching shit get fucked up, and then as far as hip-hop goes, I, yo, I stuck my head in the sand, I said, yo, I said, I ain't listening to this shit, this is back in the day, I, and I just stayed in my 90s shit, my 90s zone, and gradually shit got more and more fucked up, and now I'm like, oh, it's fucked up, well, you know what I mean, so... You gotta, you know, everybody gotta own, own, a, own a piece of that, man. So I, I appreciate, it. and a lot of OGs came on the page, and I, I really appreciated you, you guys, you guys sharing that. So, um, yo, know, musically, who do you, who do you rock with? Like, who, who's rigs? You know, what I'm saying that I'll take out your squad or whatever. Who's, who's, who's rigs? Like, damn, this shit is hot. Give me, give me three or four heads. It's just like, yo, oh, no, no, whatever, don't matter. Ring, damn man, it, it, it got to be new people. Or you can give me more, yo. Give me whatever you want. I, we want to. I want to know who who is what's what's in the what's in the phone. What's in the you know what I'm saying? Styles, Styles is in regular rotation at all times for me. Definitely, I'm definitely gonna say Cool G, A Z. Definitely gonna say some Rock Marcy. Now, for us new dudes. That shit kind of rough, man. <laughs> Come that, on, that man. That shit kind of rough. And, and, and it's not that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no new dudes who spitting. But, like, yo, rapping and being talented and be able to put words together, that's that's only one element of the shit. I don't really see nobody that, like, whoa. Like, yo, he got that it factor. Like, he's special first, just being able to rap good. You know what I'm saying? So, it's some new dudes I like, but ain't too many that I'm like, that blow me away. I'm hard to impress. I ain't gonna lie. I'm extremely hard to impress. Because I'm hard on myself. Oh, man. All sure. right. So, you got, you still got to give me somebody. Somebody impresses you. Somebody who impresses me, man. Somebody impresses you. Who impresses you? Come on, man. And you say outside my side? Outside your squad, man. Somebody in the world. There's oh, 8 billion people okay. in the world. Okay. Son that was on that verse on, on Trap Couch, Jay Black. He 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 uh, a member of Cold Summers. He's fired. Okay. He's fired. He's fired. Jay Black, he said. Jay Black, he's fired, man. This cat. That's that's nobody else. I fuck with um I fuck with SD Nat. Oh I like I fuck with SD Nat. I you, fuck with uh. You did a track with him, right? Huh? You did a track with SD Neck, right? Yeah, I did one with him before, for sure. I think a video yeah. I saw, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We gonna hear any um trap new some trap shit from from Riggs in the future? Never, never, negative, negative. No, man, it's I, not happening. 